In this video, we're going to do some questions related to finite state machines. So for the first question, we're going to let our alphabet equal 0 and 1. We're going to draw a finite state machine that only accepts strings that end in 1. Okay, so in a regular language, this might look like 0, 1, star, and then a 1. Okay, so our final state. Let's start with the final state, because we want to do strings that end in 1. So what is our final state going to look like? Let's call this f. Okay, so if there's a 1 going to it, it's going to accept it. If it loops from 1, it's going to accept it. But if there's a 0, then it's going to go to some other state until it hits a 1 again. So we're going to call this q0. Okay, so if we take a look at this, uh, again, this is our start state. If we start at q0 and we input a 1, we're in the final state and we're good. If we have another 1, we're also in the final state. If we get a 0, it goes back to the start state. So what happens if we have uh, another 0 to start off with? Well, we just want to loop back to the start state. So this is what our finite state machine is going to look like. Now, these are kind of the state machines I like to call the on-off state machines. So essentially, if it's a 1, it's on. If it's a 0, it's off. And basically, if we want to accept it, it needs to end on. So if we ever hit a 0, we go back to this off state here. So we call this the off state. But if we ever have a 1, we end up in the on state. So all 1 should go to on and all 0 should go to off. So this is how I think of these machines that accept only one thing. We have a bunch of off values and we have a bunch of on values. If we get an on value, we go to the on state. If we have an off value, we go to the off state. And of course, you should always start in the off state because if we don't put anything into the system, it should fail. Okay, so that's the first question. The second question is a finite state machine and I'm asking you, what language does this accept? So I'm asking for a regular language. So this is going to look like a bunch of zeros and ones, and maybe a one, and then a bunch of zeros and ones. Who knows? So let's let's take a look. Well, in our first state, if we have a bunch of zeros, it stays in the state. So let's actually make a couple strings and go through it. So let's do a couple zeros. And we're still in Q0, and we put a 1, we go to the next state. Okay, we put a couple more zeros, and we put a 1 in, it goes to Q2. Okay, we put a couple zeros in, we put a 1, it goes to Q3, then we can put as many zeros as we want, and it ends. So, let's do another quick one. If we start at Q0, we put a 1 in, we go to Q1, we put another 1 in, we go to Q2, we put a 1 in, we go to Q3, if we put another one in, we go to Q4, and then it doesn't matter what we do, we just end up in the dead state. So after this point, this 1, 1, 1, we end up in a dead state. So in the first one, we also see we have three ones. Okay, so let's, let's take a look analytically at what's going on here. First, we're trapped in Q0 until we put in a 1. Then we move up. We're trapped in Q1 until we put another one in. We move up. When we put another one in, we move up. So every time we put a one in, we move up until we get to the dead state. So this is the dead zone. This, this is the death zone. If you're in Star Wars, this is the Death Star. It's going to blow up in the end. You don't want to be here. So we put in three ones to advance. doesn't matter how many zeros we put in. But as soon as we put in that fourth one, we are in the death zone. So this means that the language accepts well, things with exactly three ones in them. So those are our ones. And then of course we can have any number of zeros in between these ones, before these ones, or after these ones. So this is the language that this finite state machine accepts. Zero star one, zero star one, zero star one, zero star. So those are the questions for finite state machines. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them the best that I can.